Very early on, I used to ask my mom why my dad wasn't around, and she kind of gave me a, a pretty good answer. And, uh, and for me, I just thought she was always protecting him because I know that's kind of what mothers do, you know, and that was kind of her job. And she always told me she wanted me to have a good relationship with him. And, and just because of the circumstances, you know, he wants to be there. And, and I didn't believe that. I actually didn't believe that. I actually uh, resented that, that she would tell me that. And then after some time, you know, I just, I would, he would send me plane tickets, I'd send them back, you know. And then one year he came and visited me and uh, he said, man, dude, why you never come and visit me? And I was like, well, you never told me why you left. And he was like, uh, didn't your mom tell you? Didn't she tell you what happened? And I was like, yeah, but you know, I want to hear from you. And the story was exactly the same. And I know they hadn't talked about it. It was exactly the same. So my mom kind of stood him up in, on the wedding. So that's kind of how it went. And so I just didn't believe that. I just, and, and then I felt bad because all this time he did want to be a part and I just didn't believe it. And so we developed a relationship beyond years. You know, we would travel together every year. Um, I let him pick the spot because by then I had been almost everywhere in a sense in, in the United States. And so, you know, it just, just kind of show me that grudges don't do you any good when you have somebody that definitely love you. You know, you got to put aside your, your differences and things like that. And it helped me be a better father. It helped me uh, be strong enough to try to be a single parent, you know. As a single dad at uh, 24 year, I had to raise my child and pretty much uh, get the ground and foundation work. I bought my first house at 19, so that was perfect to, for him to have his own space and, you know, be able to grow up as a young boy, you know, and, you know, he's an amazing man. And, you know, I had a lot, to, he, he kind of raised me, to be quite honest, because without him, I don't know who I would have been, you know, and I had to learn how to cook. We couldn't go to McDonald's every day because that wasn't going to work. And so he, he kind of raised me too. So, and I tell him that all the time. And, 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 and you know, all the time I always tell him that, he's like, no, nah, you raised me. And I'm like, well, without you, I sure wouldn't be who I am, you know, these, this uh this this path has been a great journey and in all honesty my whole heart can't hold the love i have for him man my daughter's four years old it is like starting over again because she got a lot of energy that i don't have when i was 24 25 um you know and now i'm not doing it alone so i kind of get a little relief you know and now you know it's kind of reflective to look at how little girls are so much different than, than little boys they need a a little bit of more love than little boys, you know, you can push a boy outside and tell him to go play. Little girl, you gotta help do her hair, dress her up. I think the the things that I can teach her now, because you know, the, the comprehension ain't ain't there yet. But um, the main thing I, I tell her is, uh, if, I, if you ask her to right now, I go, what's family? And she said, family is we love each other, we stick together. And those two bases, I kind of taught my son. And, and our, my daughter and our big thing, the same with my son, I still do it to this day, is we do nose rubs. And that's my connection, you know. Um, and my mom did it with me. And so I, I thought I passed that on a generation.